Hello, 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 and welcome to today's episode of Her Version. The Her Version podcast is dedicated to sharing stories of struggle and triumph, a platform that allows individuals to tell their truth in order to inspire and uplift others. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow, like, and share. I am your host, Sabrina Victoria. Let's jump right in. Thank you for joining us today for this episode of Her Version. The Her Version platform is built on storytelling and the understanding that many times our greatest learning experiences come from listening to other people's stories. Today, I am speaking with an amazing woman named Betsy Abrams. Betsy is the founder of Five Wellbeing, which has raving reviews on all platforms I checked as being a world-class experience in the world of spas. I literally, while going through this, I'm going off script a little bit. When I was going through your reviews, I was like, I need to go to this place. You totally do. You need to come. <laughs> for real. I'm checking plane tickets. I'm like, is it worth it just for a spa day? I don't know. But it looks amazing. Really does. Um, everything you would expect from a spa and so much more. Betsy has experimented with many methods of self-care in her lifetime, but it was not until the passing of her husband from pancreatic cancer that she uncovered a real need for nurturing our culture. Today, we are going to be talking about life, lost love, self-care, and the importance of following your heart and letting the universe guide you. Welcome, Betsy. Thank you, Sabrina. What gets you excited about life? Learning new things, meeting new people. Um, you know, um, I'm excited about, you know, the future of my business. I'm excited about a future with, um, you know, a, another another partner. <laughs> um, you know, I've been dating and it's been interesting. That's all, probably a whole nother podcast. Um <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, great. Yeah, yeah, probably um, many women, if any women listening have are in that situation. Yes, it's very interesting. How are you doing it? How are you deciding to do it? Well, I I did go online and um, that's kind of how I've met most of the people. And um, I have met somebody recently that has been, been great. So that's been kind of fun. Um, and, you know, I gave him my six rules of, um, in order to get my, the first date. And this is after three years of dating and going, are you kidding me? You know? So I have my six rules and, um, he knows them and brings them up often. Like, like I remember, I'm like, good. <laughs> what, how did you create your six rules? What well, they were, you? they were from my experience, you know, okay. because it, you, I mean, it's crazy. Like yeah. the things that people say and do so just and, as you're going along you're starting to realize that you're not accepting that that has now become a rule oh, because of oh yeah <laughs> yeah and 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 then i started just like if i met somebody i said this is kind of how it is because i was like done like you know i'm not doing i'm not going to act like oh i'll just see how this goes i'm yeah. like no nope, we're gonna look, give this a little direction <laughs> yes yes <laughs> Yeah. Very cool. Well, I love that you're using the the online or, or whatever you're using. So mm -hmm. many women, uh, maybe men, but I'm in a lot of women's groups. Uh, so many women tend to make it a negative. Yeah. And it can it, it can be fun if yeah. you you know if you if you allow it to be fun. Right. Um, it doesn't have to be horrible. It could be humorous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could. Oh my God, I could tell you stories. Um, but but it's like also um, because the early adopter in me, you know, I keep trying and keep trying, and you know, I got frustrated, and I literally had taken myself off of all the platforms. And this person that I'm dating now, um, it, somehow he got through my shutdown account, so I was kind of like, 
how'd that happen? And, um, and then I realized that I had liked him already. And I was like, well, I'm going to see what this is. And then, you know, I gave him my rules. He agreed to them. We went out on a few dates and we're still together four months later. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's kind I of love that. Yeah. I did something a little bit similar. I met my fiance on, on a dating app mm. and, uh, what I was doing is in the description, they have that little area you can write a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. I have my description. But then every week that went by, I had gone on one or two dates that week. I would give updates or like an extension of like rules that are, are now occurring yeah. because of this, these one or two dates. And it got to be like, I don't know, 12, 15, like little segments long. And I made them hilarious. Like I made them funny. I love it. Um, but it was cool because when my fiance came across my my uh, description, you know, he literally was dying of laughter. He's like, this is hilarious. <laughs> but you, so it was kind of cool because it got to show, first yeah. of all, that I've, that I am worthy of being on dates. Mm -hmm. And then second of all, that I'm funny, you know, so it was, kind of, so I used it in that sense. Like I, yeah, I love that. That is so creative. That's a really, really good idea. Yeah. Just kidding. So I was just like, all right, third week, this is what we've learned. <laughs> and then just wrote like one or two sentences. No big deal. I love but, it. But, uh, but made it, made it funny. And it was always a conversation, a nice conversation, you know, when we went on our first date to talk about it. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I had a blast though. So much so, and I joke about this so much so that I wish when I met my fiance, I liked him so much, but I was kind of low key pissed <laughs> because I was having so much fun. <laughs> That's so funny. That's hilarious. I was like, Damn I love it. it. I really like this guy. Why couldn't you have come like just a couple? It was of kind of fun. Yeah. 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 Totally. Well, that's good that but, you had fun. <laughs> yeah. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you're you're out there and you're doing that thing. Yeah. It, you know, it's just all it's just like what you're saying, you know, it's your perspective. And um, what's your role as far as individuals who have done personal development? Does it matter? To date? Um you know, like if they done no work on themselves and they don't even argue correctly, like, is yeah. that a thing? Like it probably wouldn't work for me. Um, you know, that somebody that's not at least introspective at yeah. some level, okay. um, they don't have to be like me. They don't have to have done what I've done. Um, but, but I think having somebody that can actually look at themselves, one of my, one of my key things in life, whether okay. you're a friend of date, a family member, whatever, it's taking personal responsibility for your actions, behaviors. It, I can't do it. I cannot do it. If, if you're blaming or doing, you know, having, making excuses for something, it, it's, it's just a big no for me. I don't care if you're an employee or, you know, what it's a big no. And, um, and I, I'm very clear about that with the people I've dated and, and, the people in my life that, you know, this is kind of a requirement. I'm not yeah. going to, you have to own your stuff. Yeah. You don't have to be perfect. You just have yeah. to own your stuff. You have to just, yeah. say, hey, you know, like one of the things I've done with my daughter over the years is, you know, when I've done something not parental, <laughs> um, I'll say, Hey, can we have a do over? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that. Can I love that. that. Uh, I mean, and I, I feel like I do that with my employees too. It's like, look, you know, Hey, I wish I would have done this better. Um, you know, can we have, can let's do it this way now, or let's do something new. Um, because none of us are perfect. Yeah. And, um, but when you own what you do, it just makes other people trust you more. Yes, absolutely. Man, your daughter's really getting, that's great that you're <laughs> teaching her that so young. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm grateful for that, um, that I've been able to do that with her. Yeah, because you're teaching her what's acceptable in in other people and then also mm -hmm. how to do it. Right. I was not taught how to do it. Yeah, no, nor was I. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is a mess. Thanks for USM. You know, USM was my, you know, was my, you know, my my uh, parent parenting uh, years. <laughs> yes, 100%. What do you wish for? 
Oh, right now, you know, um, patience, you know, um, from the world, from the people in the world, um, from each other, with each other. Um, I just, you know, I just, I just, there's so much that none of us can control. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I do go back to the the thing I said earlier, which is, you know, how do I know that this isn't exactly what the world needs to go through right now for us to get to the next place? Yeah. You, know, um, you know, the I pandemic, know the pandemic has affected us in so many ways we don't even know. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're finding them out day by day sometimes. And, um, you know, we, you know, in a way it's like, you know, it's like grieving, you know, you think you should be over it, but we can't be over something that's still going on. Yeah. You know? So we just have to manage through it and deal with it in the best we can. And patience and trusting each other and respecting each other is the best, for me, the best way to do that. Yeah, I totally agree with that.